uh, grew up on the farm basically with my brother-in-law and sister uh, as, a, as a kid. Uh, then I made other decisions and, and uh, worked for the J.C. Penney Company for a while and International Harvester and, and then go back into the farming because that's what I've always loved to do. Um, started out small. Uh, different farms and orchards would give me a call and ask if I would be willing to to take their orchard and operate it and uh, the farm ground the same and so I've been very fortunate I've had I have not had to go out and look for ground the ground's been offered to me uh, therefore that you know we've tried to take care of other people's ground uh, good stores to the land for others not just myself and uh, I believe that has been part of my success that you know people have let me keep the ground and not uh, ask for a tremendous price and, and uh, just continue to do the best we can. Our, my orchard philosophy is uh, we never know what the, the season is going to bring us uh, so you know we have the the the, uh, the spring freezes and we never know what's going to happen we've been very fortunate there um, as you can see in the background, this is actually the first orchard that I've ever planted on my own. And this is Honeycrisp and Ambrosia. Uh, all the other orchards that I own or lease, uh, I've inherited as far as from other people that have been started. Some have been in really good shape. Some have been neglected for years. Uh, so we come in and we work with uh, spray consultants from Nutrien Solutions. And uh, the guy that I deal with there is Daniel Beatty young guy aggressive and very knowledgeable and I pay a lot of attention to what they say and sometimes I want to change things or add things and I, I have the option to do that um, but uh, as far as the the future plantings of this fenced in area uh, we're going to plant this in uh, Rome's and York's and Golden Delicious probably in the next year uh, have to get the trees ordered which I understand takes sometimes up to two years I've never had to go through that before, um, but that's my plans for this orchard. In farming, uh, we don't like to put all of our eggs into one basket, and what we're looking at here right now is dry weather. Uh, the water business is flourishing, <laughs> so so I've always felt that we needed something to back up what we were doing. Uh, so that's how I got into the water business. We started out with uh, my son, who is. Ryan, who's 41 years old now, when he was 16, he started hauling water with a thousand gallon plastic tank and I had a tractor and trailer. And then when he was 18, I taught him how to drive the tractor and trailer. And uh, so it just evolved from there. We, uh, we had pool companies that would call us and just about with every pool company, you need to have a truck to, to go along with that company. So right now I don't, I can't think, I, I, I think we're running maybe four tankers with tractor and trailers that we have. And at least six uh, ten wheelers uh, and, and he is so busy right now that we can't keep up well, always won the farm market um, I guess we've been into that about eight years now uh, it was an old packing shed that belonged to the state of West Virginia so we started with the farmers market and we had this extra space and I was planning on doing something like with boar's head meat and you come in, you ordered a ham sandwich with uh, what you wanted on it and, and uh, a couple old picnic tables from the back or go across the street and take out whatever. And Ryan decided or found out that we could buy this furniture from a restaurant. So now we ended up seating, or in, we seat 95 people. I, I could not, again, do this without being surrounded with good help and you have to have a lot of faith uh, to do this. Um, am I worried about the drought? I can't say that I'm not concerned, but I'm not gonna worry about it because there's not a thing I can do about it. And uh, we will just continue. If, if we have a bad year this year, uh, I've always said we'll try again next year. What a great re reward. Uh, I've told you before that I, I'm, I'm sure that there's a lot of people out there that deserve this more than I do. Uh, but I'm very happy. I'm very humbled by this award. Um, it means a great deal to me. Uh, it's something that I'll, I'll remember forever.